YouTube. This is Mark Bellinger from Advanced Electronic. Today I have a cutaway trainer transformer that uh, we've had made to show the insides of what is inside of the transformer, how it works, etc. Basically, the transformer is just two coils of wire, a lot of insulation, and a core. Basically with this transformer, how this works for the power company on their lines is you have your two high voltage bushings. Um, if you bank these, these could be in a, a delta configuration or in a Y configuration. Uh, y would be one side, one of these bushings would be grounded. The other one would take the, uh, the hot line. Okay. Inside, of course, you have your porcelains and you have a tap changer right here where you can change your line voltage. Um, if the line voltage varies, sometimes it's higher or lower you can uh, maintain the correct output on the transformer. And a lot of controversy with how these actually operate. Um, this is, is my forte and you have your secondary bushings right here, okay? Across your outer left and your right bushing, those are your hot legs in the center is your neutral or your return. Now, going to your home, you have a ordinary twisted pair aerial drop twisted pair with a neutral hot leg one side hot leg here neutral in the center and it runs all the way to your home um, this is also grounded down at the base of the pole with your down ground usually uh, you'll see ground rod or two ground rods it's supposed to be two ground rods within six feet of the base of the pole this is connected to that so in the event that you do lose your neutral the ground will maintain that neutral connection for you as a return at a loss but you will have some sort of return this is normally filled with fluid it's usually filled with a uh, dielectric fluid which is mineral oil non PCB oil these days but years ago they did have uh, polychlorobiphenols which um, today they're not even allowed so uh, there, there's it's very hazardous material that uh, you no longer want to ride around with, uh, you know, transformers filled with oil that have any content more than uh, 0.2 parts per million. Uh, anyhow, with this transformer, this transformer is a 5 kBA. That's approximately good for 5,000 uh, watts, and it is a pole mount transformer. So, if you guys have any questions, please uh, leave me a comment. That is what's inside of an average, ordinary, everyday transformer.